when the bulbs go out in your soft boxes and you have to use actual grow lights as lighting in your shop to light your videos. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to my giant ass monstera. I may have done a thing. Uh, that thing is basically that I have went and bought another one. So I kind of have two now instead of one. That happened, I went and got another one yesterday. So I'm kind of building a bit of a wall of these things as we speak. Also, I have quarantine roots, the house. So that's why we look like this today. We ain't giving a shit today. So when I actually purchased this giant Monstera a little while ago now, maybe a couple of weeks ago, a lot of people commented on the image that I put on Instagram, basically saying, please, 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 we need an entire video on your Monstera. Tell us everything. So this is that video. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of this Monstera that I've recently purchased, as well as the new one, as it happens. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it and basically what it is. So this is two Monstera and not one. I'll explain it in a second, but I'll go over the big one first because it's probably the easiest to explain. So this wonderful big lady, I actually got her from a Chinese takeaway. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna need a bit of support, Kelly, on this side where we're getting it in the van. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, carrying across the road, to be honest. I bought her online. I went and picked her up. And I was kind of amazed by how big she was when I got her because on the internet, she didn't really look as big as she is now, if I'm totally honest with you. She's much, much larger than what I thought she was. And I'll explain the situation behind here in a minute, but it's a hot mess. Alternatively, I bought this new one yesterday from somebody that basically this monster was kind of taking up a lot of space in their flat. If I just peel back the first monster, you can see the secondary mess that is the second Monstera. Obviously these Monstera are struggling to be held up by the poles, but I'll think of a better solution than obviously this one here. But for now, I'm just kind of letting them chill and letting them acclimate to their new surroundings because I imagine this is vastly different, obviously, to where they've been prior. Needless to say, this one here is nowhere near as big as this one here. You can pretty much tell straight away. If I grab the leaves there, you can just see the difference. This one is rumored to be five years old. This one is rumored to either be 15 or 50 years old. And I'll get to that in a minute. So if I just try and climb inside the Monstera, I might be able to show you why it's a hot mess. This here is an extremely miserable looking moss pole that is quite wedged in there. At one point, I mean, I can only assume it's actually held this guy up while he's been growing. We've got lots of bits and pieces that have grown from the same plant. Again, I haven't actually done anything with them yet. I haven't disturbed it. I've just kind of put it in, watered it, let it acclimate. But it's these I kind of want to talk about because these might not look like much, but these are its aerial roots and I've had to pile it up on top of the pot. I had to pile these roots up on the top of the pot because when I got this Monstera, when I went into the Chinese takeaway where it was growing, these aerial roots were growing around about four meters along the floor of the shop. It just kind of went a bit nuts. This entire tree had attached itself to the wall. So it was just, it was stuck to the wall of the takeaway and all of these were just growing along the floor. So it might not look it, but these are honestly about four, four meters plus, I would say. They're really, really, really long roots. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Obviously, that's why they're piled up at the minute. So I don't have to have them just trailing all over the shop, right? It's actually really hard to hold this up. <laughs> that's giving me a legitimate workout holding that up, you know. I think it's got a new leaf coming in, you know. I'm feeling that it's it's a little bit swole over here. That That feeling you get when you're getting a new leaf. I can feel it. That's gonna like, there's gonna be an earthquake when that comes out. 100%. Right. We sat at desk and it go. And you go. 100%. It's gonna be like, ah, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> so specifically with this large monstera behind me, when I picked this up, the seller told me that this plant was 50 years old. Now I thought they had misheard this because they had inherited this monstera from somebody else. So what I thought they meant was it was 15 years old. So I don't actually know 
if this one star is 15 years old or 50 years old. So if you could give me an answer in the comments, please, as to whether you think it is 15 or 50, I would be really interested because I'm not sure. Because the more I look, the more I think it's not impossible that it's 50, just due to the sheer size. Because the new one I've bought is apparently five years old. That was a cutting taken from a mature Monstera, and it has grown out to what you see there in five years. So, so maybe that's 15. I feel like that could be 15 years old, but I don't know. Answers in the comments. Let me know what you actually think based on maybe your experience with Monstera, because this is my first big Monstera. So I don't really know. So I want to tackle something really quickly in this video. One, basically to give you a video this week, and two, because it's actually kind of confusing. And I had to do a little bit of looking this up on the internet. So the question we must first ask is, what is this behind me? Now, I believe this to be what is currently known as Monstera Deliciosa Large Form. Now you might think, okay, what the hell does that mean? What about Borzigiana? What, what, what is it? What is going on? But the word form is actually quite important. When I say Monstera Deliciosa large form, that's actually kind of important. And I'm going to explain very, very quickly why. So what's the tea? Generally speaking, the internet is pretty divided on what occurs between the Monstera Deliciosa that a lot of us may have in their homes that basically doesn't really grow anywhere near as big as this. You can probably see how big this is. Obviously, it's huge, right? But not everybody's Monstera tend to grow as big as this. No matter how hard they try, it just doesn't happen. Leading us all to believe, okay, there's more than one type of Deliciosa. And the answer to that is, there kind of is. It is different from the smaller version that we know to be Borzigiana. Some people say, you know, you have this large monster and then you have Borzigiana, which is a small form. Other people say that's all, that's absolute crap. It's all just Monstera Deliciosa. So currently what I know to be true is that Monstera Borzigiana is just known as Monstera Deliciosa small form. And this one behind me, this absolute brute behind me is known as Monstera Deliciosa large form. There are a few differences between the small form and the large form of Monstera Deliciosa. The first difference, 100%, is the internodal spacing. Now, this is basically meaning the space in between the nodes on the Monstera where the foliage grows from, so that gap. The Monstera small form, or the Borzigiana, has a much larger gap between these nodes, so the internodal spacing is much larger. Not only that, but the small form, or the Borzigiana, tends to climb, so it looks they both climb, this is hard to explain, they both climb, but Monstera small form Borzigiana tends to vine more. It looks more like a vine when it grows, whereas the growth habit of one of these isn't. It's much more sprawled out. Similarly, Thai Constellation grows similar to this as well. It grows more sprawled out. It doesn't really grow upwards like a vine. Therefore, Monstera like this and Monstera like Thai Constellation aren't usually placed on moss poles because it doesn't really, it's just not what it needs. Whereas the small form of Monstera does tend to be mounted up poles because that's what it likes. That's how it grows. It vines upwards. This one will climb. It just takes longer and it happens slightly differently to the manner that a regular small form Monstera grows. This is why you see them and they do look a bit different. Another obvious difference, of course, is the leaf size. If you have a regular small form Monstera Deliciosa at home, you will notice that no matter how hard you try, you just can't get leaves like this. It doesn't matter how old the plant is, it just doesn't tend to happen. And that is because it is a different plant. This plant here can get leaves of around about a meter in diameter. So this isn't even full blown Brutus status yet. This can get much, much bigger. Whereas the small form Deliciosa hence it is named, it cannot get leaves like this. Nowhere close, to be honest. So those are the main differences between Monstera Deliciosa small form and Monstera Deliciosa large form. Now then, what is meant by form? What is that? We're saying form, we're throwing that around, what does that even mean? So in botany, when we use words to describe various types of plants, we use words like form, variety, and cultivar, for example. A variety of plant is a plant that can be found naturally growing and producing in the wild, and seeds of this plant can be produced true to form. So if you see a plant with certain characteristics, this plant will seed and it will produce the same, you know, genetically appearing plant. 
The word form is an extremely similar term to a variety. The only real difference with a form is we use the word form to describe a, you know, almost a variety of plant where the plant has extremely different visual characteristics from one another. So this is why we're using form in this case. Now the word cultivar usually refers to a plant that has been cultivated by human intervention. Now a classic example of this is variegated monstera. The variegation in the plant was a naturally occurring mutation and the way to produce that plant is by taking cuttings and promoting variegation and if the variegation starts to die back we cut it down and we start to propagate again and hope to get more variegation out of that. That is a classic example of a cultivar versus a form. It's kind of selective breeding for plants basically. So that is my giant monstera. Um, I haven't found a name for it yet. Honestly, I know that you guys have suggested some. I haven't really had the time to really sit down and think about what I want to name her. I'm pretty sure she's female. I don't know why. She just kind of dominates my life. I love her. So she is female. That doesn't really affect the name, of course. But I don't really know what to call her yet. I haven't figured out a name. So if you have good name suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I might actually be able to nail down a name this time. I just, I don't know. She's a brew. She's such a brew. I, I don't know. Likewise, the small one needs a name too, right? I can't just name one and not the other. I don't know if the small one is male or female. So feel free to decide in the comments, throw some name combos around. Let's get a little, you know, team going. You know, you might be asking why I've done this, <laughs> generally speaking. And I did mention on my plan tour last week that I basically did this for my own enjoyment. And that is 100% true. I've bought these basically because I have somewhere large enough to keep one. And I've wanted one for some time, but living in a flat in Manchester, there is no way in hell I can actually keep one of these things. Never say never. But generally speaking, that is why it is here. What am I gonna do with it? You might ask. Well, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> it's kind of a secret at the minute, but I promise you, you will find out in due course. Just hang in there and you'll see what I end up doing with this absolute beast. No, I'm not gonna cut it if anybody's worried. This ain't getting cut at all. This is gonna be exactly as she is. So that is the tea, I guess, on my brand new Monstera Deliciosa large form. Both of them are large forms, by the way. I hope that gives a little bit of insight on basically what the heck this is, what to call it, etc., etc. It's simply Monstera Deliciosa large form and likewise the smaller version that a lot of you may or may not have is Monstera Deliciosa small form. That's it I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna get into my Monstera and I guess if you like this video please leave a like down below. If you like it even more then please feel free to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!